Evet, Avustralya'da merhaba herkese. Ee, burada bayağı erken bir saat, saat sabahın üçü ama önemli değil. Ee, güzel bir e, yayın öncelikle dilerim. Şimdi ilk önce genel bir açıklama yapayım Avustralya ile ilgili ne durumdayız, e, ne yapıyoruz. Ee, dünyanın her yerinde olduğu gibi Avustralya'da da e, bir görünmeyen düşmanla savaşıyoruz. Ee, hani birinci dünya savaşı vardı, ikinci dünya savaşı vardı. Ee, bu dünyanın savaşı. Ee, kiminle savaştığımızı bilmiyoruz. Bayrağı yok, ırkı yok, cinsiyet yok, hiçbir şeysi yok. Ee, ama bu konuda Avustralya çok iyi bir stratejik olarak çok iyi bir yol alıyor. Akıllı bilmi öne e, çıkararak e, yol alıyor. E, bu nedenle e, bu savaştan çok iyi bir galip, e, başarılı bir e, şekilde çıkacağına inanıyoruz. E, şu anda eğitim sektörü her şey tamamen e, yani aslında bütün sektörler aynı şekilde darbe aldığını görüyoruz. E, bazen kelimeler anlatımlar yetmiyor neyin ne olduğuna. E, yarının ne olacağına çok fazla bir şey diyemiyorum. Ama ben ee, Avustralya'nın son 20 yıldaki ayrın ekonomisi, eğitimdeki e, başarısı ve insanı birinci sırada koymasının e, avantajlarını yaşayacak diye düşünüyorum. Güçlü bir ülke, zengin bir ülke. E, insana yatırım yapıyor. E, i̇nsana yatırım yapmasının avantajlarını bugüne kadar hep gördü. E, şu andaki bu olayla mücadele etme şekline baktığım zaman Hala insan birinci sırada ee, bunun avantajlarını göreceğiz diye düşünüyorum. Ee, international öğrenciler için çok güzel çalışmalarımız var. Umarım bunların sonucunda yakında alırız. Ee, bütün eğitim kurumları destekliyor. Ee, sadece bu önümüzdeki görünmeyen düşman diyorum ben. Ee, hep birlikte çok güzel bir şekilde herkes üzerine düşen görevi yapıp e, başarabilirsek en kısa zamanda ve en kısa zamanda Avustralya'nın o güzellikle yine kavuşacağımıza inanıyorum ben. Evet. Benden e, Igor. Ah, I can continue. Thanks, Simon. So how yeah, I... I just I just uh, I just explained something about Australia. Perfect, yeah. perfect. Thanks. So thanks everyone for joining the webinar. My name is Igor and I work for Torrens University. Let me share my screen with you. So um, just there's a couple couple slides I wanted to show you very quickly. Um, and then we can maybe leave some 10, 15 minutes at the end for if, for your questions. So you can pause the questions in the chat box or you can basically ask them and the IT team will, uh, will basically uh, share them with us. Um, is everyone able to see my screen? Simon, can you see my screen? All good? Yeah, I can see the screen. Very Perfect. Good. Yeah, very clear. Perfect. Perfect. So before we start talking about Torrance uh, University, let me show you a few things about Australia. Maybe Simon already mentioned some, but I think there's about five important things to mention. Uh, um, why Australia? Well, these days we have kind of like worldwide crisis with the coronavirus. Yes, so pretty much all the countries are closed and we hope and the same with Australia, actually. But we hope this is going to be, whole, I mean, sooner or later stabilized and borders will open and people will start travel again and you as international students can come to us. So let's let's hope for the best. So a couple things to mention. Uh, while you consider you're studying abroad, so why Australia? Um, one of the, you know, I, I've been also international kind of students like you guys. So basically, uh, very important reasons why Australia is top 10 destination, I would say belong to top three destination worldwide is like, for example, first of all, students can earn money while studying. Okay. So it means like, um, if you, if you come to Australia, whatever, Sydney, Melbourne, any other place, uh, you know, there's always like cost of, of life, right? Cost of living, you're paying for accommodation, food and everything. So Australia is pretty flexible. So in all, every, every single international students can work in Australia and cover their cost of the living, which is, which is excellent. It's, it's very good. Number two, or the, the, the second uh, most important point to mention is like five out of 30 best student cities in the world are actually in Australia. So for example, as a Torrance University, 
we got campuses in Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, and Adelaide, okay? So these are like one of the most livable cities in the world where the life is really safe. Uh, cities are clean, nice, like good for living, definitely. Number three is actually Australia belongs to top three, as I mentioned, uh, uh, destinations for international students. I think we already, uh, well, number one is always United States, right? Then was UK and then Australia. But I think Australia, we already overcame uh, UK because we got about 750,000 international students in currently in Australia st studying. So sooner or later, we're going to hit 1 million international students in Australia. So this just proves that it's a really good place to be and to study and to live, right? What is very, very important, and many, many students from Europe, because my background is also European, they ask me about the possibilities to, you know, work after afterwards, after they study. So, yes, in Australia, there is a, such a thing called post-study work visa. It means every single international student who will finish bachelor or master degree in Australia is eligible to apply for a special visa. It's called part of uh, 405 subclass, but doesn't matter now. Basically, it's a post-study work rights. It means it can be up to two, up to three years. So two years in the big city. So if you study in Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, you, you can get like two years worth uh, post study work rights. If you if you study in so called regional cities, these are like smaller cities. For example, one of our campuses in is in Adelaide. Okay, so you can get work permit up to three years. It means you finish your degree and you can stay in a country, work legally, work full time for Australian or international companies, which means it's a great opportunity to kind of get uh, money back for, I mean, the investment you made into education is gonna pay off to you very quickly. And yeah, definitely number five, uni university ranking system. So Australia ranks as a nine best in the world. So definitely there are good universities, including Torrens, right? So just very quickly, Torrens is part of Laureate International Universities. They are all, all around the place. It's just maybe you heard about it. But here are some things we are very proud of at, at, uh, at Torrens. Currently, we are Australia's fastest growing university. Uh, what does it mean or what are the special things uh, at Torrens? So as I mentioned, uh, my background is also European. So definitely I can, I can, I, I think I can uh, differentiate between what is, what is good for Europeans and what is not. So a couple of things we are really proud of at Torrens is like, uh, for example, retention rate, okay? Now it's which is 90%. It means 90% of our students from from all around the world, including Europe, stays with us and finish the degree. They don't cancel, they don't drop, but basically they finish finish the, the whole programs, which is which is very important for us and proves we, we offer good quality education. 90% is also employability of our students. So we really pay attention if students like you are able to find a good job after they study. Okay, so 90% of our students get jobs within two, three months. In, in that field they study, right? Which is very good. Currently we got about 16,000 students, as you can see, uh, pretty much 50% is domestic and about 50, 55 is international students. So including Turkey students, including basically whole Europe, okay? So, and also we got industry placements. So what is what it means, I'll mention it later on, basically placing international students like you uh, to real for real jobs, like. Uh, they, they have internships at Torrance. So it means, for example, if you are a bachelor student with us, in your very last bachelor degree takes three years in Australia. So in your very last year, in the, uh, in the year three, in the last uh, semester, we're going to place you to, to, to real companies where you're going to actually practice what you're studying. And that's, that's very, what matters a lot because then you finish basically university not with just some kind of like degree, okay? But actually, you can put on your CV that, for example, I work at Sony, I work at IBM, okay? And you already have some experience, which is, which is going to help you to look for a good job. So these are the things we're really proud of and we try to support international students with. So let me just, there, there are also some rankings. So if some of you are looking at the rankings, we got very good rankings in terms of like our design faculty. So if you are looking uh, for design degree, design programs, we got very good rankings. Also hospitality rankings. Uh, Blue Mountains, our hospitality uh, management school or our faculty is one of the top in the world. So we got some good rankings as well. But this is something I don't want to spend time much with now. I want to give you some picture where, where you can study and what you can study with us. So uh, as you can see, basically, we we are based in four locations, uh, Sydney, Brisbane, Medlin, uh, Melbourne and Adelaide, where we offer programs in terms of business, design and creative technology we offer health degrees education and hospitality so pretty much kind of like a uh we can say 
uh, five faculties we can offer and also English. So sometimes we, it's happening, international students need to improve their English, we can offer that as well. Uh, just very quickly show you, this is, these are our campuses in Adelaide. In Sydney, we got several campuses, okay? This is, for example, Altimo campus is the best one, I would say, is really high tech. I'm sure, Simons, you like that one as well, right? Like your students definitely gonna like Altimo campus, which is close to UTF. I love yeah, it. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it. we got several of them in Sydney. This one is in Piermont. So if you are looking for health degree, like Bachelor of Nursing, etc., we got it over there. Uh, this is Blue Mountains uh, campus. So it's about two hours from city center of Sydney. It's a hospitality school. So if you are looking for a degree in hospitality to become a hotel manager, run some big hotel, uh, definitely we got a we got a good programs for you. Actually, the campus in Lura, which is two hours from Sydney, it's like a simulated hotel. So students, they live there, they work there, and they study there. So it's like really, really simulated hotel environment, very, very good, good chance to practice with the real customers, you know, like real people coming over there. So yeah, so this one is in Melbourne, Brisbane, and Melbourne as well. Another, we got two of them over there. So this is just very quickly to show you. Let me, let me just uh, give you some more details, what kind of programs you can be studying. So as I mentioned, we got five faculties, Hospitality is one of them where we're offering bachelor degrees and postgraduate or master degrees as well in international hotel management or hospitality management, okay? Um, so just to give you some, uh, some interesting things, they say by 2022, there's gonna be about 73 new million job uh, created in travel and tourism industry, okay? Of course, pretty much it's driven by Asia part of the world, but as you can see in Europe, there's gonna be also a lot of work opportunities. So to study hospitality degree, like, you know, like becoming a, to study hotel management, it's, it's definitely a good choice. Uh, don't wanna spend much with the numbers, but as you can see, like 95% of our graduates get the jobs within three months. So pretty much everyone who finished the, the, our like uh, hospitality faculty for, for graduate at the Blue Mountains faculty of Torrance, they get job like very easily basically. Career outcomes, you might, be, you might be asking what you can be doing. So there's a lot of things. So as you can see, hotel, resort industry, event industry, okay? You can be running events for big hotels. Of course, there's a lot of like restaurants and culinary industry. If you wanna become a chef, you know, to end up in a kitchen, to become a master chef. Yeah, we, we offer these programs as well. Tourism, et cetera, et cetera. These are the hotels we're working with. So I mentioned at the beginning that we try to be really practical, focused university. So at Torrance, you're not just gonna study, but you're gonna also experience real internships. So these are the hotels, as you can see, we got about 2000 industry contacts. So these are the hotels we're gonna place you for jobs, for internships. We cannot guarantee it's gonna be paid, but I'll be honest with you, pretty much many times it's also paid job. So you're gonna be, you're gonna be studying, and then you're gonna practice in one of these big chains like Marriott, uh, Four Seasons, Shangri-La Hotel, okay, I'm Hilton, I'm sure you're familiar with these. You're gonna be practicing what, what you've been studying, and of course, it's a great opportunity to prove yourself and get a job after after your education, after university degree, okay? So these are the, these are the hotels we're working with. Alumni placements, so these are our students who graduated at Torrance University at Blue Mountains Faculty. As you can see, they are all around, the, they are scattered all around the world, like, Pretty much you can end up anywhere, like whether it's Sweden, UK, US, of course you can stay in Australia because there's a lot of hotel uh, opportunity, uh, jobs opportunities as well. So these are, the, these are the basically placements of our students or where our students ended up. Uh, just, to sh just to give you an example, I don't have any Turkish students, uh, uh, like good testimony right now, but just wanted to show you this Korean dude. What, why the reason I'm showing you this guy is actually is also our alumni who graduated from Blue Mountains. And as you can see, currently is a prominent chef featured on YouTube channel. So he's like, he, he won the competition called Master Chef in Korea, very famous guy now running his own place. So as you can see, these are really success stories of our students. So it's not just about studying, getting a degree, but definitely the career opportunities afterwards uh, yeah, you can really prove yourselves and get a really end up with a really good jobs. So that was the hospitality faculty. Very quickly, business. Uh, business is popular in Europe. I'm sure in Turkey as well. Uh, Simon, what's the what's the most popular uh, programs of Turkish students? Is it business or is it design or is it is it something else? 
Um, at the moment, mostly IT related course oh, is very popular perfect. right okay. now. And then we do have so many students, um, the IT or cyber security oh, okay. or those kind of things. Because you do have a very unique IT Yeah, we course. do. You we definitely do. I, I, will, I will cover IT. So definitely. That's right. That's right. Good. But I'm sure business is also popular, right? Business degrees, I would say, they are always popular as well. Yeah, they, they, business is very much like, you know, um, the, also you, you, you have very like a you know, global connection. And then um, we had a, two students in um, Torrance. They, was, they were very happy on the doing studying business. Perfect. Perfect. But if you have the most popular one, I believe the IT right now. Good, yeah. good. All right, so we'll get to the IT, but just to show you, um, we, we're writing a lot of business degrees, but it's not just regular business programs like, um, you know, Bachelor of Business or an MBA, Master of Business, but we got also very specific degrees. For example, we're running, a, we're running a, like programs like sports management. So you can be studying business, like for example, bachelor in focus on sports management or master degree focus on sports management. So it means those students who really like sports and you might want to end up in a sport industry, let's say working for some big sports club and running the running the marketing there, etc. We have very good degrees. We're actually running this sports management program together with Real Madrid. I'm not sure if any of you are a big fan of uh, football and, and Real Madrid. I'm a big fan of Manchester United since my childhood, so it's nothing for me, but, but I'm sure some of you might like <laughs> Real Madrid. So, yeah, we're running this, uh, this program together with Real. So even Turkish students might end up in, in Madrid for two, for two or three weeks internships over there. So, it's a, yeah, we got also very specific degrees. Let's keep the numbers. Just wanted to show you again the outcomes. So once you study business degrees, of course, we talk about marketing. So you can end up in a marketing career, business career. So like accountant, of course, economist, analyst, okay, even management as well, sports management, as I mentioned already. So so there's like a lot of lot of uh, I would say commerce as well. We got we got dual degrees, focus on global project management as well. So you study, for example, MBA first year and second year like global project management so you end up with a dual degree so there's a lot of lot of to look at once you go to website you can look at it there's a lot of programs again the same story we got a lot of business or industry connections so these are just some examples of the companies we are placing international students like you for internships so you can find jobs over here and practice what you've been studying um yeah let's look at the design and creative technology faculty as simon mentioned uh, we got in Altimo is a very great campus, I would say. We got a lot of lot of uh, IT programs, good programs over here as well. So we run in exam diplomas, bachelor and masters in uh, in design faculty. Like we got everything. So pretty much, if someone wants to study like design, like fashion design, or become an architect, like interior design, for example, okay, we got these degrees. At the same time, as we mentioned, we got IT programs. We got, for example. Uh, software engineering, focus on cloud computing or uh, artificial intelligence. Okay, I was um, my my degree is business degree, so I was never really into IT. But if some of some of you might be looking for like artificial intelligence, cloud computing, and this kind of like software engineering programs, we got it. We got it definitely. Here, just very quickly to mention, like IT, probably the same in Turkey and all around the world is a million dollar industry. So jobs are very well paid. So students graduating from IT, like starting salaries in Australia can be seventy, eighty thousand dollars And if you, be, if you are experienced programmer or some kind of like good IT guy, we're talking about 80, 90, $100,000 per year plus bonuses. So this is very well paid job, I mean, industry. <clears throat> But not just like IT, also fashion, fashion or, or fashion design is, is one of the good fields. So here are some career outcomes, uh, what you can be doing. So uh, definitely like graphic design, okay, filming, moving, etc. But also, as I mentioned, like uh, stylists or branded fashion designers, we got something for you guys as well. And digital media and IT, of course, as I mentioned. Gaming, okay. If some of you are into like, when I was a, when I was a kid, I used to play a lot of PlayStation, but I was like PlayStation 1 at that time. Now it's, I think, PlayStation 4 already. So it's like games are very high tech these days, very updated. So so programming, cloud, cloud computing, artificial intelligence, everything is there. Uh, the same over here, replacing international, international students to, to for internships. So some of these companies, I'm sure 
you are familiar. So there's IBM. I'm sure everyone knows Sony, right? Maybe Blowfish. You heard about Blowfish as well. So these are the companies where you're going to place you for internships, definitely. And you can you can practice or prove yourself after studies. We got a little bit of education, but I'm going to cover it very quickly because we offer only master degrees over here. So if you want to, for example, we're going to run some places like for education, like a special education for, let's say, kids with some disabilities, etc. We got programs over here. <clears throat> Sorry. We got also like a, like PhD programs over here. So definitely if someone is looking for education career, we got something to offer, but only in postgrad in Torrance. And the last faculty we got is the health faculty. So if any, any of you are interested in beauty and spa or nursing, etc., like nutrition, okay, we got these kind of programs as well. I would say very excellent campuses in Piermont in Sydney. So we're talking about here are the, here are the basically like outcomes. So clinical nutrition, community services, okay, public health. Um, Igor. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, Igor, um, I just gonna mention the nursing. I just gonna mention something. I was just in your Melbourne campus uh, a couple of weeks Perfect. ago, and then I visit the nursing um, the classes, mm -hmm. and that it was quite impressive. Like, you know, I because I believe that's gonna be very very popular course because of the coronavirus and these and that. Exactly. These days, the health become a number one almost in Australia. Um, the, and then also the Melbourne campus was, was perfect. I visited, I looked around and then they, they, they, they're renovating. Perfect. And then, uh, when I went to the, the nursing one and then they were practicing with the doll, uh, there's a lot of technology they are using. Um, that's quite impressive. I just want to add it. Continue. Perfect. Sorry. Perfect. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. I, I like it. Look, uh, guys, I'm also European, as I mentioned. So if, if I should compare nursing facilities in Australia to many European countries, it's it's really a different story. And Simon, you can you can uh, confirm that. Like in Australia, nurses are very well paid. They work with the very high tech, um, you know, like facilities, equipment. It's a really really good good job. And yeah, starting salaries. Are, are, are, correct me if I'm wrong, but like we're starting like eighty, maybe ninety thousand Australian dollars per year because. Yeah, there's a big demand for, for nurses in, in Australia. So it's a good job for sure. Uh, yeah, also like uh, he, maybe... He, and then also sorry, while go ahead. studying... Uh, yeah, while studying and then you have an opportunity to work like in nursing, especially um, the, these days is the old nurse and everything, whatever works in the health, they got a full-time job. Like they don't need to work 20 hours. They can work 40 hours, 50 hours. The new things is come up in Australia um the for these days by the way oh. so the nursing okay. um there's pretty much um the, so many opportunity while um studying i do say yeah perfect yeah thanks for adding this yeah so um even like not just nursing but if if if any of you st uh, students are interested in like um you know healthy lifestyle like the nutrition so as you can see, like average salary for nutrition professionals in Australia is almost $60,000. So, so healthy lifestyle is popular over there as well. The same like in Europe. Uh, so even, even over here, we can offer like, I would say good programs. And here are some, uh, I'm not really that familiar with these brands, but if the, those of you who are interested in health, I'm sure you might know some of these big companies. So we're placing students over here for internships as well. So that's going to be, that's going to be the, the last one, we, as I mentioned, we offer English as well. So sometimes happening like uh, to become a university student in Australia, you need to meet certain level of English, right? So we, for bachelor degrees, we're talking about IELTS 6.0 with no band less than 5.5. So speaking, listening, writing, everything must be at least 5.5. So, so sometimes, and, and, and the master is 6.5. So sometimes students don't meet the entry requirements. That's, it's okay. It's not a problem. We can package them. So even with Simon, with Habedu, we have several students who basically package, Turkish students who package, let's say, 10 weeks of English with us. And once they finish the English studies, they're going to start their bachelor or master degree. It's common. It's, it's common for the whole Europe. I got a lot of European students like that packaging. So we can offer you English as well. Of course, you know, the best thing is to, to study, improve your language at home and just come to Australia and study right away. But if someone wants to go ahead 
and maybe you live in an English speaking country or environment where definitely you're going to improve your language much faster. Yeah, we can help you as well over here. Um, what, what about the, the future? So we're growing very fast as a Torrance. Uh, here are some quick facts, but maybe guys, the very last things I would like to mention and Simon can then maybe take over and we can answer some questions is that, uh, as I mentioned, Torrance is really university focus, focus on practical stuff. So we make sure, we really want to make sure you get jobs after you graduate. A lot of our teachers at the university or professors or lecturers, as we call them, they are people from the industry. So they either run their own business or they used to come from some you know, business field. So they're teaching you the, the knowledge you're getting over there is really updated. They, they're not teaching you when the industry was 20 years ago, but they're teaching you like really uh, updated stuff, updated where the industry is heading. So you're getting very good education. Classes are small. We keep classes 20, 25 students per class. So you're never going to end up in a big lecture hall with 300 other students. No, it's about 20, 25 students. So uh, lecturers or teachers, they know you by name sooner or later. And also what is really good at Torrance, we offer you big support. So from the very first day you join as an international student, we you're going to be given special person who which is called success coach, so man or woman. And they will be kind of like your mentor, okay? So they will make sure you're progressing, you're not failing the exams, you're getting the support. So basically every international student's got this success coach or special person who will kind of help you with everything at the university. So <clears throat> these are very important things to mention and then definitely the jobs because as we got a lot of uh, you know, business or connections or industry connections, we're gonna place you to real, for the, to real jobs, to real companies. So it's a, it's a very unique opportunity for you to apply your knowledge, get real experience, put it on your CV. And then when you graduate from the university with your diploma, you can be looking for jobs and already you can show hey, I work at Sony, I work at IBM, okay? So these are really good things. We try to make it really practical for international students. Also, as Simon, as Simon mentioned, you can work in Australia. So classes at Torrance are usually two days per week. So for example, you might end up with the classes Monday and Tuesday, the rest of the week is free. Well, technically not free. You need to study and work on the assignments, but still you don't need to commute to the campus. So you can get a part-time job, you can work, you can earn the money to cover your cost of living, accommodation, food, etc. So it's very flexible as well to international students in this field as well. And maybe very, very last thing to mention is our scholarships. So yeah, we do offer scholarships to international students. Maybe someone you can highlight this at the end. Uh, it depends. Some of the programs of faculty, we offer scholarships up to 30%. So it means like big ones. So basically to get a scholarship as an international student, uh, you, you must meet the entry requirements. So you must be accepted by university. And basically that's, that's pretty much it. Sometimes happens, uh, except the regular scholarship, we giving students so-called special or merit-based scholarships. So if you are a smart student, good student with the good grades or some achievements in the past, you can get higher scholarships. Very simple example. Recently, I had a student from Italy. She applied to our design faculty for uh, fashion design. It was, I think, interior, interior, no, it was interior design, interior design. She got 15% scholarship because that's what uh, European students get at the design faculty. But she sent us the portfolio because she used to work at some architecture firm in the past. It was a couple pages PDF document. So we send it to the faculty for you. They reviewed, excellent. She's got some experience, boom. She got 20% scholarship. So she basically is 20% discount from tuition. So the better, of pro, the better profile of student, the higher scholarship you can get. So we offer international scholarship for Turkish students for sure as well. And that's maybe pretty much last thing I wanted to mention. Or, well, one of our partners in Turkey is definitely Habedu. We got good relationships. Simon is sitting in, in Sydney. so. Uh, we got even a couple students enrolled now at Torrance, so maybe you can mention it as well, Simon, if, if people want to ask. Like, uh, definitely we have good relationships, so we, we support you guys to, to work with Habedu because they are experts on the visa, right? Because Australia, or edu uh, to pick a university or study destination is one thing, but to get a visa is second thing. Australia is very challenging, unfortunately. That's why we work with Habedu because they are like experts or professional on the visa. They can advise you what documents you need, what's going to be the best thing to apply or best time to apply. So definitely we keep good relationships. So I recommend you to, to get in touch with them. 
that's pretty much it from my end. Uh, hopefully, it didn't take much much of the time. Uh, let me just stop sharing now, and maybe I can leave some some space for the questions. Um, not sure if you're gonna run it in English. Uh, yeah, we got some questions in English already. Perfect. So let me just let me just uh, read them and maybe we can answer. Okay, together, Simon. So first one from Ber price one, the, the nursing price. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> is there any comment other than Berkay Guen? Yeah, Berkay is asking about the nursing. Like, uh, is there any requirement other than the English when applying for Bachelor of Nursing? Mm, not really. If you if you're gonna be starting from the very first year, uh, there is only English requirement, which is a little bit higher. Even though it's a bachelor degree, you need to have IELTS six point five overall, no band less than six. Uh, or basically, well, that's, that's the regulation or seven. So pretty much the, the IELTS band is a little bit, a little bit higher for, for regular bachelor degrees, 6.0. Okay. But nursing is 6.5 or seven dep depends. So, and pretty much, of course, we're going to be looking at your high school, but it doesn't have to be any kind of special education. As soon as you, as you finish the high school in Turkey, you should be fine. If, if you would be, if there are some students who, and also you have, a yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. You also you have a pathway. You can study diploma and then goes to the second year of the uh, nursing, which is very popular and a very easy way to adapt the degree. Yeah, you know? that's right. That's right. So sometimes students with the lower English can start a diploma. You write and then continue to bachelor. That's another way. So you start first year with diploma and then another two years you take bachelor of nursing. So basically you transfer from diploma to bachelor. Yeah, that's another good good choice as well. Thanks, Simon. Okay, uh, the other question again from Birken is what is the price for one year of nursing license? Uh, license, not really, not really sure what's, what, what does it mean, like license? Uh, is it like, a, I guess he's not asking about tuition, right? Um, I Think so. Asking the person which which one question I couldn't see that one. Second one, second one was from Berkey as well. Like, what is the price for one year? Uh, what's, the, what's the price of the one? The the, the, the license, um, license like the one year degree. Like oh, the, sorry, the about license it. degree, the bachelor degree. That means. Oh, sorry like, about you know, it. One year. Yeah, one one year, one year. Um, the yeah, the tuition fee. Yeah. Okay, let me check right now because <clears throat> we just got the um. International fees, but we got uh, just very quickly, guys, because I don't want to mislead you. Bachelor of Nursing, we talk about roughly twenty six thousand Australian twenty six thousand Australian dollars per year. Yeah, that's that's gonna be the thing. So far, we don't have any scholarships for nursing faculty or the nursing degrees. The reason is simple: there is such a big demand, and so many students wants to apply that uh, we simply don't offer scholarship. But sooner or later, it might change because. Now with the whole situation with the coronavirus, so we might reconsider this. So yeah, we're talking about 20, 26,000 Australian dollars per per year. So I'm not sure if Turkey students are uh, Turkey students are used to Australian dollars or US dollars. So 26, uh, 26 uh, thousand Australian dollars. We're talking about 15, 15,000 uh, USD, United States dollars. Okay. Uh, another question <clears throat> from uh, is that. If student wants to take a language course in Australia before graduate or certificate program, uh, you give conditional or letter? Yes, we do. And that's how it works, basically. As I mentioned, we offer English as well. So we will issue two letter of offers for you. One of them will be for English, for example, 10 weeks or 20 weeks of English programs with us, which is called usually EAP, English for Academic Purposes. So it's not general English, but usually English focus on like higher education. So you study that and, uh, and then you get another letter of offer, which will be conditional one, which, which basically says you've been accepted, but the only condition is that you need to finish the AP, let's say 20, 10 weeks or 20 weeks prior to the program and, and meet the entry requirements. So it means complete the test and everything. So yes, we do, we do offer conditional letters. Okay, another question. Do you have one or two year certificate programs? Uh, tell the applications conditions. Yeah, we, we, we run some certificate, the diplomas as well. We call it rather diploma. 
so higher, higher education diplomas or certificates, we run it. Uh, pretty much the entry requirements or conditions are the same, like for bachelor, master, English requirements and education. But of course, in terms of English, it's lower. So usually it can be 6.0 or 5.5 to, to start with the diplomas, okay? Higher education diplomas. Uh, so a little bit lower entry requirements in terms of languages, which sometimes students use. Uh, because they want to go to Australia, they want to start as soon as possible, and but let's say they don't meet entry requirements for bachelor in terms of English, so they apply to diplomas, they finish one year, and then they transfer to bachelor. So it's really common, a little bit less challenging entry requirements over there. Um, I couldn't, f another question, I couldn't find it on the net, but does Torrance have a medical faculty? Uh, I guess student is uh, Bey Zanur. Okay, Bey Zanur is probably asking about the, like, to become a doctor. No, we don't run such a programs. And it's it's very difficult in Australia to get into the medical degrees. Maybe, Simon, you can share with students because I'm, I'm sure you have these questions before. Um, the become a doctor, um, it's... Okay, in Australia, there's a medicine faculty. There is no such a thing to, you can apply and then become a doctor. So there's a the bachelor degree you can study, and then after that you can study another one. It's a step by step, and they're very long and they're very expensive, and then you have to have really really high mark in um, high school um, degree. Like in a, so there's very there's very like in a it's. It's not easy. The, the, um, be honest to you, Igor. I haven't seen any Turkish students so far got the medicine in Australia. Yeah, but I'm dying to see someone. Yeah, it's, I, it's, I, it's not. I it's, agree it's, over here. Yeah. I agree over here because one of my friends he works uh, for the UWA University of Western Australia. They're located in Perth, and just to give you an idea, guys, they mm -hmm. offer. Uh, dentist program. I mean, programs for dentists. So if any of you want to become a dentist, you can apply. But they offer like four spots for international students only, only four spots, and one year tuition fee cost is about $75,000, $75,000. So if we multiply, let me just calculate very quickly, right. 75 by multiply four, because I think it's a four years degree, you took about 300,000 Australian dollars. So it's like, a, how many USD? Let me just check, uh, 300,000. 300,000 Australian dollars, it's, it's almost 180,000 United States dollars. It's crazy expensive, very difficult to get in. So yeah, totally agree with over here. Uh, unfortunately, it's, it's difficult and we don't offer. The only kind of like a medical degrees is the nursing we're offering at the Torrance currently. Uh, and let me check the last question I think we got. Um, <clears throat> Burak is asking, in master programs, do you have a master program on science education? Also, could you give me information about scholarship that we may get by university and the government? Um, now, I'm sorry, we don't have we don't have like science education. Um, the degrees we got a little bit different degrees. Uh, maybe once you get in touch with Habed, they can share with you the the, the program list. We got a lot of programs, but uh, I don't think there is master focus on science. Um, is that the if we're talking about education let me just very quickly tell you uh basically uh there's a special education there is master of philosophy as well but no no no i'm sorry about it we we don't under under uh, education faculty we don't run it in terms of scholarships so yeah i'm sure there are some kind of like government scholarships from turkey i'm not sure i'm not that familiar with that maybe simon you can comment on that as, as Torrance, we offer on education as well. So we offer about, I think uh, there's there's 20 20% 20 uh, scholarship we offer on education programs uh, at Torrance University. If there are any additional one by Turkish government, I'm not sure, Simon, are there any available? Yeah, there, there are, but not. I'm not sure on the education. They do have some um, different um master but um i'm not sure on education i haven't seen anyone um the coming for education um but they do have um around the 100 or 120 um 
students a year to Australia get the scholarship from the Turkish government. Mm, perfect. Yeah, something like right. that. They, have a, they, they used to be limited. They were, they're supposed to change this year, but I'm not sure they change or not. But they, they're, they're changing, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Uh, let me just check if we um, if we got there's there's one question over there. Did you see the last Yamur? The the no. Go ahead. You can which like, which one? Maybe you can, you can you, you maybe you can read one. Maybe you can read it. I don't, I don't see it over there. Uh, let me just check. Like now, asking the kind of scholarship. Do you have any other? If you have a the students have any other ability, like something like really um, successful soccer player or other things. Oh, okay. Consider for the scholarship. Okay. For example, we we currently don't have any sports scholarships, but definitely there is going to be except merit based scholarship, which means it's, like it's not just sport. Like said that, yeah. Like it, for example, the, the the playing chess is the number oh, one for chess, okay. or any other any other things like you know. Like, yeah. I got it now. I got it. Yeah, definitely. The as I mentioned, the better of profile of the students, the the, the higher scholarship you can get. So definitely, there are some scholarships or um, like we consider students with some achievements. So if you have if you've done some good achievements in the past and you got you can put it on your CV let's say you want some competition in a chess or whatever or you work somewhere uh, and you achieve some kind of like a success in terms of some projects etc definitely we take this into consideration but it should be always somehow connected to the degree okay so let's say if you're applying to let's say design faculty and you've got some experience or achievements from the design field let's say you work at some it company you you attended some projects at trust so this is going to be taken into consideration but definitely they're not going to look at your sports career if it's if it's if you're applying to design degree so it should be somehow related so yeah but definitely we do we do um design faculty for example is a good example there's like 15 percent scholarship we're offering to european students but as i said the based on the profile of the grades you can get 20 25 sometimes so which is already very very big discounts 25 percent off but these are really based on their profile not just the grades not just the high school or bachelor degrees like the, the grades you achieved but the the profile as well so yeah we we take this into consideration but again uh, it's not me the right person to answer that is the faculty so if let's say you would apply through Habedu with us, we will uh, we'll process your documents. And if there is such uh, achievements, we would submit to the to the committee for review. So yeah, that's right. Um, guys, we need to wrap up a little because our time is over. Okay. Perfect. There's one question um, The I might answer the, should I answer the Turkish? Do you mind answer Turkish one? Or no, it's okay, go ahead, that, go ahead. Is, uh, because it, it write the Turkish, so yeah, okay. Um, Şimdi e, dil konusu e, anladığım kadarıyla çok e, önemli bir e, soru gibi geldi bu sorular içerisinde. Aslında e, dil konusunu üniversite içerisinde çözülebiliyor. Kendi eğitim programıyla package yapıldığı zaman üniversite... E, how many weeks we can do the package right now? 20 weeks or 30 weeks? They change the 30 weeks, I think. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah so, it should be, should be possible 30 weeks. Yep, that's right. Yeah. Ee, şimdi önce İngilizce seviyen test ediliyor. Test edildikten sonra daha önce e, 20 haftaydı. Şimdi üniversite 30 haftaya çıkardı. 30 hafta kadar İngilizce alıp üniversitenin başlayacağı seviyeyi yakalayacağın bir seviyedeysen şu anda e, peki yapılabiliyor ve e, böylece üniversiteye devam edebilirsin e, istediğin bölüme. E, başka benim burada eklemek istediğim... Hmm, Şimdi e, anlatılan İngilizcenin çok basit olduğundan bahsedildi. Evet, e, bu gibi webinarlar daha çok basit İngilizce ile anlatıldığı zaman karşı tarafın daha iyi anlaşılacağı e, düşünülüyor. E, Igor, Avustralya'da e, eğitim gördü. Avustralya'yı çok iyi biliyor. Yıllardır Avustralya'yı e, yakından tecrübe edinmiş birisi. E, kendisinin yurt dışında bir tecrübe edinip Avrupa'yı da çok iyi biliyor. Onun için zaten Avustralya'yı en iyi Avustralya'ya tecrübe edinenler anlatabiliyor. 
E, o anlamda e, Igor'un e, tecrübeleri e, önemlidir. E, benim gözümden az önemli. Yıllardır kendisini bilirim ve tanırım. E, şimdi ben e, can I add you something for about the visa fees? Sure, go ahead, go ahead. No worries, no worries. Go ahead. Quickly, the, the most important thing. No problem. <gülüyor> şimdi, şimdi arkadaşlar e, çok Önemli bir dönemden geçiyoruz biliyorsunuz. E, vizeler şu anda durdurulmuş vaziyette. Ne zaman açılacağını biz bilmiyoruz. E, ve e, bu süreç içerisinde vizelerin e, değişeceğini ben e, şahsen düşünüyorum. Çünkü aynı zamanda biz immigration agentiz. E, bu değişimin e, pozitif mi olacak, negatif mi olacak sorusunun cevabı e, Türkiye'nin koronavirüsten çıkacağı başarıya bağlıdır. Aslında bütün dünyadaki ülkelerin koronavirüsten çıkaracağı e, başarıyı e, dikkate alarak Avustralya vize olaylarını yeniden dizayn edeceğini düşünüyorum. E, şu an itibariyle e, Avustralya'nın e, Türkiye ile ilgili yani daha önceki konularda vizede bir sıkıntısı yoktu. Hatta Torrance Üniversitesi'nin bir öğrencisi ee, yaklaşık bir gün gibi bir, bir günde değil daha kısa bir sürede e, vizeyi e, aldı. E, benim e, okullarla ilgili başvurularla ilgili size tavsiyem e, bütün çalışmalar yapılsın her şey hazırlansın ama ödeme kısmını e, şu anda yapmayın. Çünkü e, her şey netleştikten sonra ödeme yapılsın. Ee, üniversitelerin bu konudaki çalışmaları aynen devam ediyor. Ee, aylık e, Vedat Aksu aylık e, 60 bin e, 6 bin ile 8 bin lira arası para ayırın diyor. O değişebilir. E, şu andaki ekonomik krizden sonra ne olacağını bilemiyoruz tam olarak. Daha farklı bir e, seviyede e, seyredebilir. Doların durumuna göre e, değişebilir. E, başka burada benim kaçırdığım bir soru var mı diye bakıyorum. Türkçe olarak. Şimdi bir de e, bu süreç içerisinde e, Torrance Üniversitesi'nin diğer üniversitelerine ayrılan özelliği şudur. E, Birçok şehirde kampüsü var. Ee, mesela Sydney'de okuyorsun, ee, sonra bir, bir şey oldu, ee, bir iş buldun veya kararını değiştirdin, Melbourne'a geçebiliyorsun veya e, Adelaide'e geçebiliyorsun ee, veya designated area yani kırsal kesime gidip orada eğitim alayım, 3 sene çalışma vizesi alayım dedin, geldin, Adelaide'e geldin ama o sırada Sydney'de bir iş buldun, tekrar e, Adelaide'den Sydney'e geçebiliyorsun. Um, bir de bana hep sorarlar en iyi üniversite hangisidir? Benim her zaman e, cevabı verdiğim cevap ise şudur. En iyi üniversite bitirebileceğin üniversitedir. Yani bir üniversiteyi e, hem maddi anlamda hem manevi anlamda hem de diğer e, konularda bitirebileceğin bir üniversite olması lazım. E, Torrance Üniversitesi international öğrenciyi çok iyi anlayan bir üniversite. Bu anlamda avantajı vardır. Ee, international öğrenciler de bu senede TAP yaptı zaten. En fazla tercih edilen üniversite oldu. Ee, şu an itibariyle giden öğrencilerden bir şikayet gelmedi. Ee, önümüzdeki süreçte tekrar gelirse e, onu da paylaşırız. Ama şöyle güzel bir şey var. Öğrencinin şikayetini çok hızlı e, dikkate alıp e, o değişler yapabiliyorlar e, üniversite içerisinde. O da büyük bir avantaj. Um, yeah, yeah. I think I think I, I covered all the question. I just added the one thing Igor um, said, like that, that because of the, the multiple campus and they would be able to change the oh, campus, the campus just in case sure. something happened. So that, that is that is the things I added. Um, yeah. Yes, perfect. And uh, I I ask you one question, Igor. Okay. Um, the you know the, the at the moment everything everything little bit pending, and then no one know what happened tomorrow. Sure. And that I'm in Australia. Australia doing really well for the coronavirus. 
but Australia, not to just the uh, country finished finish this problem and the problem is going to finish it globally. So my question is, um, the globally it's affect international students. Are they talking something inside the uni, how we can help the international them better? Like, you know, is that is there any, any, any, any, any package we are expecting from the Torrance University? Because the Australian government opened a really good package for everyone and that they're helping us. That's right. But what is the Torrance University such a big, huge group? Like, you know, yeah, let me just, I, I, I guess we need to wrap up in just very one minute. One minute. Uh, basically, yeah, uh, we, we will be talking about this. Maybe we'll look at some tuition fee discounts for international students, et cetera, to support them. But what we're really uh, good at Torrance is the online. So pretty much we got a lot of students already enrolled and some of them can, couldn't come to Australia. So we offer all the programs in, in the online mode as well. So it means sometimes even like now we've got students who will be starting in June their degree so they will start online they take one subject online and once hopefully the whole crisis is gone set by september they'll come to australia so they can actually start studying online we have one of the best online you know like modes as a university in australia so this is the way we try to we run everything online even english these days so students actually don't have to stop or you know don't have to cancel their studies but actually they even like if they think about applying they can still do that yeah, unfortunately, the situation is as it is, but we're still accepting new applications. As I said, like they can start online and then later on they come to Australia. In terms of like some kind of support, yeah, we definitely want to make sure that everyone is safe. So that's why we shut down the campuses and everything is online. And we, we try to provide like excellent service for online delivery, for online classes. But also, uh, yeah, it just oh, the whole thing is Australia just started. So we will be discussing some support in, in the upcoming weeks for sure uh maybe maybe there's gonna be some bigger scholarships or this council i'll share with you and you can share on the market in, in turkey then no problem thanks all right i guess it's time to wrap up right so thanks once again everyone for joining thanks Simon, yep. for your guidance and support uh thanks ift team um let's just keep in touch and uh, yeah Thank just you. recommend don't don't don't don't be discouraged with what's happening in the world. Australia is a great place to study. So just get in touch with Habedu and I'm sure we can we can help you with all the questions and hopefully we're gonna welcome you at the campus as soon. Cheers everyone. Thank you. That's great. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.